My name is Thiago de Moraes. I'm an author and illustrator, and this is my new book. It's called The Mummy Ate My Homework, and it's about a boy called Henry who gets sent back in time and lands in ancient Egypt. When he's there, he has all sorts of crazy adventures. I had a lot of fun researching the book. I had to learn how things worked in ancient Egypt, how they looked like. And I thought it'd be fun for us to learn how to draw some ancient Egyptian gods together. Okay, let's draw some ancient Egyptian gods. Um, we're going to draw a guy called Horus, who was the god of a whole bunch of different things. The sky and of kingship. Um, and a lot of the time, ancient Egyptians would draw their gods as humans with animal heads. Uh, and Horus would be drawn with a falcon's head. So let's start with Horus's head. And I like starting with noses or beaks in this case. So we're going to do like a little beak. Um, falcons have these kind of pointy beaks and the ancient Egyptians would draw them in this kind of wriggly way. So we're going to make it go up and down and put a little bit of curly cues on the side. And there's a little round bit at the top. Now, a lot of ancient Egyptian kings would wear a thing called a headdress, which is a bit of cloth they would wear on top of their heads, which is decorated with a source of kind of beautiful things like gold and, and blue thread. So Horus wore one as well. So we're going to do the shape of his head, um, and that's a big circle with a bit that comes in like this, because that's his headdress. And that comes down, it's a little bit of clot, then it's going to come up again like that. And the headdress goes all the way over his head into his shoulders. So we do another big curve like that. And we finish there. And later we're going to draw his shoulder. So we've got the shape of his head and the shape of his headdress. And now we're going to draw his mouth here and a big line going down, which is going to be his neck. Now, um, he's got big round eyes. And ancient Egyptians would draw him with these kind of interesting curves at the end. So we're going to do the same. And inside that shape, we're going to draw a shape that's very similar, another kind of almond shape almost. Now, in a lot of the images you'd see in ancient Egypt, he'd have no pupils or kind of a really big black pupil. And I, I think that we should draw him with a normal pupil like this, like a round one. And if you want him to have like shiny eyes, you can even draw a little circle around here. So you can see his face is starting to show up. Um, I think to give him more of an expression, uh, we need to give him some eyebrows, so why don't we give him like some curly, thick eyebrows up here. Now, another thing that was really common in ancient Egyptian art when they were drawing Horus was the shape of the eye of Horus, which are a bit like the markings around the falcon's eyes. So we're going to draw this here, and they're pretty much like two pointy bits. There's one bit that comes here, and another bit that goes around the eye and follows the shape of the head like this. So we've got his head. We've got his headdress, and now we're going to draw his body. Uh, a lot of the time, ancient Egyptians would draw uh, figures on their side, so they always show all four limbs. Uh, and a lot, most of the time, their gods would be shown like that. So we're going to draw his shoulders, starting from here on the side. So his shoulders come down like this, and then you've got his arm there. So we're going to draw his other arm here. And then from here, we're going to continue his headdress until he gets down to the same level as the other bit. His body is going to be almost like a triangle. So from the arm, we go down like this. We draw his belt. And then we're going to go up on the other side, like that. Now, we need to draw the other side of the headdress. If there's one side here, the other side is going to come down from there. So we're just going to make it go like this, like this, and like that. Okay. Now, we're going to draw the rest of his arm. So, we're going to do the forearm here and the forearm there. We're going to draw his thumb, and his thumb is just a squiggly line like that. And his, arm's going to be his hand is going to be closed because he's holding something. So, we're going to draw his closed fingers here. And now, we're going to draw the rest of his body. So, he's got a big belt, and it's like a big triangle coming here. And that belt has some lines going through it. So we're going to draw these lines. And he's also got um, a skirt, a type of dress, a kilt, actually. And that's just another kind of slightly irregular rectangle. And to finish it, we need his legs. And they're also facing to the side. So they'd be like this. And his feet.
and another foot up here. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to finish his other arm. And his arm, this arm is also holding something. But because his hand is facing towards us, the ancient Egyptians would draw the fingers facing towards us too. And they draw little fingernails there. They've got like some pretty big hands. Okay, so this is the basic shape of Horus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of put all his jewellery and clothes and decorations. So he had a huge uh, kind of necklace type thing or like a, a guard around his chest that a lot of pharaohs used. Uh, and that was made of all sorts of things like gold and um, lapis lazuli and emeralds and things like this. And that will go around his, his chest. So that, will, that, that can be, we can draw it as a whole bunch of um, lines. But if you want, you can also do some um, nice kind of decoration. So in a lot of drawings, they have these teardrop shapes going down. So maybe you can draw some teardrop shapes here um, to make it look kind of more interesting. And the other thing you can do is maybe just draw some lines over here so we can make each one of these sections different from the other. Okay. At the end of his head dress, he'd have some gold um, kind of... Um, thread and that's also represented by these lines so we can draw some lines here and some lines over there in his arms he'd have uh, arm rings those are just lines if you want to make it look more fun um, make the lines different widths so they don't look all the same the same thing happens on the other arms so we're going to have arm rings here and arm rings down there. And here, on top of his uh, kilt, he'd have a golden um, kind of dress, which will come to the side like that. And attached to it, there's this kind of long feather shape, which both us and the ancient Egyptians can do by drawing lots of little kind of inverted V's like this, that makes it look like a feather. His ankles would have um, bracelets around them as well. Okay, so we're almost done. What we're missing now is a crown, because as I told you guys before, not only was he Horus the, the god of the sky, but he was also the god of kings. And in Egypt, um, crowns were drawn a certain way. So a long time before um, Egypt became one kingdom, it was two kingdoms, the Lower Egypt and, and, and Upper Egypt, and each kingdom had its separate crown. And when it was united, uh, Pharaoh started uh, combining the crowns. So all their gods uh, wear both crowns at the same time. And one of the crowns looks like this. The other one Looks like this. And it ends with this big spiral here on top. So that's our Horus. Well, we need to finish him now is to show the things that he's holding. So he's holding a couple of things. He's holding this symbol called the Ankh, which is a loop. With some sort of kind of cross at the bottom. And there was a very important symbol um, in ancient Egyptian religion. Um, and then his, his old other hand, he's holding this kind of long scepter. I'm going to make it go behind his leg. Now, um, in a lot of the drawings, um, there's a lot of texture to make them look more interesting. I'm not going to draw the texture on everything. You can do as many different bits of texture as you want. But on his kilt here, on the golden parts, I'm going to draw some lines to be, make, make it look different from the rest of his kilt. I usually draw in black and white. I like drawing black and white. But um, it'd be fun to color him. 
So I think that what we need to do now is put a little bit of color. So let's start with the headdress. Um, the headdress is usually drawn as blue. So we're going to have a little bit of blue here. Um, the bit around his eye is also blue. It's really dark blue. So, and that will make the eye kind of pop out a little bit more if we, if we color, color, color the bit around it in the color. So we're going to do that here too. The bits on his um, crown are red. So I've got some red. Um, and there's lots and lots and lots of gold all around. So the ends of his headdress are gold. Um, a lot of his kind of necklace breastplate is gold as well. All of this part of his kilt is gold. And you can choose if you want to use more orange or more yellow. Um, either of those colors work really well. Um, the end of this big feather is golden and the middle of all of these guys are golden too. Um, put a little bit more red in here. We're going to do a little bit of a few squares of red and green. Um, let's do the same thing over here, so we can draw little red squares all over. And we're going to put some light blue next to those as well. Just to make it a bit more varied, a bit more colourful. And then a little bit of green, so we can have a little bit of green here on his neck. And a little bit of green there as well. Some more blue on the sides. And then I can color his body and I'm going to choose this kind of light brown color. Um, And that's it. This is our god. It's Horus. Um, you can draw a whole bunch of other ones. Um, there's Bastet. She was a goddess with a cat's head. Um, there is Anubis, the jackal-headed god. There are also gods that do look just like normal people. Osiris was the, the god of the dead and he just looked like a green guy. So uh, have a look at the back of Amami Eto homework. There's a whole bunch of um, different Egyptian gods uh, that you can learn how to draw. Uh, I hope this was fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed drawing Egyptian gods and I hope you enjoyed um, the book as well. Mm -hmm.